Hey everyone, hope you are doing uh, about as well as you can be doing during uh, this this lockdown. Um, I, like many of you, have been going uh, pretty deep into my record collection, uh, discovering some stuff that maybe I hadn't played all that much. Um, now with a lot of time at home, uh, I'm able to sort of dive into some, some cool stuff. So um, in a minute, I'm going to or in a couple minutes, uh, I am going to uh, talk about albums, and in some cases artists, uh, that friends of mine really turned me on to. Um, given all the music uh, behind me, that's, that's the case with the majority of the stuff, came from, or more than half, um, came from different conversations, shows, uh, Etc. throughout my life, but these, the ones that I picked out are really, I can sort of remember the moment and I can remember the impact that this individual had on me discovering this artist. So jump into that in just a minute. Uh, prior to that, I just wanted to, uh, you know, during these times where all, I think a lot of us are looking for ways uh, in which we can uh, support uh, folks, um, and there are so many people hurting, whether it's businesses, health, you know, sick individuals, um, people working on the front lines, uh, our favorite restaurants. Everyone, it feels like almost everyone is impacted by this. Um, so uh, I will just say, as a music fan, I really miss going to record stores. It's been about two months since I've been uh, inside of a record store and that's probably the longest uh, spell that I haven't gone shopping in a record store since I was 15 or so. I really miss it. I miss the people. I miss the music. I miss the search. Um, I miss uh, everything about that experience. Get into your car with, with a couple new records that you can't wait to get home and listen to. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's something I cannot wait to get back to once, um, you know, once we are in the clear, uh, that's probably the first place I'll go. Uh, maybe after I get a haircut. I haven't had a haircut in like three months. That's why this Yankees hat is staying uh, in these videos for a while. Um, so uh, that's all I'll say. If you can, if you have the means, uh, don't forget about your, your local record stores. It's folks like us who keep them afloat. And um, if you can uh, place an online order or buy a gift certificate uh, for a friend, um, I know that will go a long way, uh, and I will practice what I preach um, by, uh, I actually got a gift certificate for somebody recently, and uh, somebody who did an incredibly kind gesture for me, uh, and the least I could do was uh, send them a, a small gift certificate to support uh, a record store uh, in my area. Um, and I will make a, a vow to, I'll buy uh, at least two records online for my favorite record store today. Um, so uh, anything you can do would be great, I'm sure. Um, and then uh, secondly, I just wanted to mention an app uh, that myself and four of my closest friends back on the East Coast have been using during this time. It's called JQBX uh, for Jukebox. Um, again, JQBX. Uh, it enables groups to uh, basically play DJ, DJ in the sense of just picking songs. So uh, a close friend of mine, who I'll mention again in a minute uh, when I get to these records, uh, sort of cajoled a bunch of us into trying this app. Um, and man, has that paid off. So we've been meeting probably from the last 20, 20 let's say the last three weeks, 21 nights, we've probably met 17 of the 21. Uh, we're meeting again tonight. Uh, we we met last night, um, and for the first week or two, it was sort of just a, a mixed bag of pick tracks that you like. And now we're getting into themes. So we've done first album or first track on an album. We've done last track on an album. Uh, we've the other night we did only '70s uh, songs. Uh, tonight is '80s, which should be fun for Saturday night. Um, so I just recommend if, if, if you've got some time and you're looking for, for a way to uh, pass that time with, with friends, music friends, this is a great way. Uh, 
it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and if you do do it, uh, I guess leave the name of your room in the comments and maybe uh, I can pop in uh, or we can sort of meet in different rooms and, and play some, some music that we love. Uh, JQBX. Um, lastly, uh, a friend of mine uh, released a record just a couple weeks ago, right when this was, when everything was really um, starting to accelerate in terms of lockdowns and um, anxiety and fear. And uh, she is a dear friend of mine. I met her at South by Southwest in 2005, I believe. We've been friends ever since. Uh, I met her at another friend of mine at a barbecue uh, outside of Austin. Um, I adore her music, and this is the best record she's ever made. Uh, so I am going to uh, try and uh, push some of you viewers to, uh, you can stream it on Apple Music or Spotify or, or probably any of the other streaming services as well. You can also buy the vinyl. Um, maybe you give it a stream, a few streams if you like it, buy the vinyl. Uh, you can get that at Liz P, P as in Peter, dot bandcamp.com. I believe she also has a, an address of Liz Papademus, uh, which I'll put the spelling up in a second, uh, dot com. This is the record. That's Liz on the cover. Uh, it's called Rock Record. It's a pretty great title. Uh, it's the most upbeat uh, record she's ever made. Um, and I think it is just a phenomenal, phenomenal record. Uh, I cannot stop listening to it. Uh, if you just pop on to one of the streaming services and you want to hear one track, I would start with Real Life Bender. That's my favorite. Um, but this is a tremendous, tremendous album for somebody who uh, has given a lot of her, given up a lot of her career and, and, and um, what am I trying to say here? She's put a lot of, of love and effort into a music career. And she is somebody uh, who in my view should have many, many more listeners because she's a tremendous songwriter, vocalist, piano player. Um, Liz Papademus, spelling right there, P-A-P-P-A-D-E-M-A-S. Uh, her brother is actually, a, a, I believe, a rock critic. Um, I think he's actually just a writer, but he covers a lot of rock music. Uh, great, great record. Please check it out. All right, now records that friends have uh, turn me on to, and I'm going to start with a bit of a tribute, <laughs> that seems to be the mood I'm in uh, today, to one of the people who's on that uh, that app, or, or who, who comes in most nights on that app. Uh, he is going to join us tonight, and many nights he cannot join, uh, or he's probably been in about half the nights, um, because he is an infectious disease doctor in Manhattan, uh, in New York City which we all know is the epicenter of this. And um, he has been a very, very close friend of mine for about 20 years. Um, and he is right on the front lines of this. Uh, and looks like he has some time tonight, so he will be joining us. But um, I think about him every day and, and the challenges he's facing and the courage that he's exhibiting, and every day I wish him well. Um, so he is one of the most fanatical music fans I've ever known. Uh, I met him actually uh, at a festival on Randall's Island in New York called the Fla Festival, the Guinness Fla Festival, it's like an Irish festival or something. Uh, I believe it was 1995. It was a great lineup, it was Freddy Johnston, Van Morrison, uh, Richard Thompson, Billy Bragg, Wilco, uh, who else? A bunch of others. It was, it was a great, great festival. And we met because he was wearing a shirt of uh, this listserv that we were both on at the time, this music listserv, and I've been in touch with him ever since, and he's one of my dearest friends. Um, I don't know if he introduced me to this artist, but he certainly uh, really got me deep into listening to Richard Buckner. Um, who I sort of consider the town's Van Zandt of the late 90s, early 2000s. This is his uh, debut called Bloomed. Uh, Merge reissued this. I don't know, I don't think Merge was the original, original label. Overcoat, was that the name? I can't remember the, 
the name of the label, but Merge reissued this in 2014. Merge has reissued most of his records, um, and as far as I can tell, they do it just because they love his music, uh, like I do. Um, the one record of his that has not been reissued, which I think is his best, is the record that followed this, which was Devotion and Doubt. It was on MCA Records, um, and that's a record that one day I hope will be out on vinyl. Um, but this is a tremendous album, uh, Bloomed, and this is a dedication to uh, my friend Sharish in New York. Um, we love you, and we're looking forward to seeing you uh, tonight uh, as we play some music. Uh, next uh, is this Alice Coltrane record. Uh, my buddy... Uh, Travis, who I worked with for many, many years, um, uh, big vinyl collector, uh, one afternoon after work, he and I went to my local record store, and he and I have some overlapping tastes, but a lot of different tastes. He's very into jazz and uh, uh, sort of the jam band scene. Um, so we're often uh, sharing music with each other, and we went into the record store and I remember he walked by this and he sort of flipped through and he just said, get that. Um, and I did, and it is a tremendous record. Um, just a truly beautiful, beautiful album that I can't thank him enough for, for exposing me to because I probably would have never found it on my own. Uh, so thanks, Travis. Um, on the same front, as I was talking about jam bands, uh, this is Grateful Dead's Europe 72. I listened to the Grateful Dead quite a bit in high school, a little bit in college. Uh, I saw them live twice. I think it was the same summer, 1995 at Giant Stadium. And once I got into sort of the indie Americana scene in the mid or later 90s, 97, 98, I sort of abandoned the dead and I've recently discovered them in the last few years. Uh, and I've been going pretty deep, a lot of live shows and uh, that's been solely because of Travis. Um, so thanks, buddy. Keep sending records my way. Um, next is the Nick Lowe record, Jesus of Cool. A great one. This is uh, a thank you to my friend Noreen, who has turned me on to a lot of great music. She turned me on to the go-betweens. Um, who are one of my favorite bands now. Uh, I knew Nick Drake, but or not Nick Drake, Nick Lowe, uh, but didn't know him, but didn't go very, very much beyond uh, his top sort of tracks. And she was really into him and got me into this record, which um, is an exceptional record. Music for Money, Love the Sound of Breaking Glass, um, So It Goes, just an awesome, awesome album that my friend Noreen uh, introduced me to. Uh, next, so this is a little bit different. This is an album that I know, but a friend of mine who um, is always sort of pushing home uh, the acts and albums that he really loves, and he gets you to, to go a little bit further into to the archives. This is not an, an archive record. This is one of their best records, so it's the Rolling Stones. Let It Bleed, uh, but this, my friend Scott, um, he is such a fanatic about certain, uh, rec he has very, very broad taste, but certain records like Records by the Stones, or Records by Tom Petty, Damn the Torpedoes is one record I listen to a lot, and it's because of him. Um, he has exceptional tastes, it's like Motown and, um, and Elvis Costello, uh, all the Elvis Costello records I have are because of him. Um, so, Scott, keep them coming. Um, and I'll see you in the jukebox tonight. Uh, next is not even opened yet. Just got it recently. Got it by a Voices Isolation Drills. So, my buddy Fred is primarily responsible uh, for exposing me to indie rock in the late 90s. I jumped on the Uncle Tupelo bandwagon 
and really went deep in alt country, but he exposed me to Guided by Voices, Pavement, um, and sort of all the, the bands of that period. Um, he, he was sort of my indie rock, uh, he, he knew the full library of which, which sort of albums and bands to listen to during that period. We, we both adore LCD Sound System. Um, so uh, to my buddy Fred, thank you very much. Um, uh, next is my friend Amanda, who if you're on Mazzy or Mazlovs, uh, if you're on his, if you subscribe to his channel, which I think most people who are watching my channel came from his channel, uh, you have been introduced to the archivist, uh, Amanda. She turned me on to John Prine, uh, who I know a lot of us are thinking about right now. Uh, this fantastic record, Sweet Revenge, um, which came out in 73, Year I Was Born. Um, we're all pulling for John Prine. It sounds like his health is sort of up and down right now. Uh, and I think he's been sick for a while, maybe even prior to um, him getting COVID, uh, or whatever the coronavirus, however we properly say it. Um, and I just, every, every story I've ever heard about John Prine, mostly as a person, is just that he is an exceptional guy. Just very sweet, loving, uh, considerate. Um, so despite the fact that I don't know John Prine's music as well as many, um, I really, really do hope uh, that he gets through this um, because he has influenced so many people and he just seems like he has a heart of gold. Uh, so thank you to the archivist for always pushing John Prine on me. And she also introduced me to one of my favorites, David Dondero. This is my favorite album of his called Simple Love. I believe she did some of the artwork on this, uh, the archivist did. Um, if you're not familiar with David Dondero, I would open up this record or throw this on a, one of your streaming services and listen to the track Rothko Ch Chapel, uh, about the Rothko Chapel in, I believe it's in Houston. Um, but this is a perfect record. He's an incredible singer songwriter, sort of a troubadour, he's always on the road. Uh, David Dondero, Simple Love. Last one, and I should probably have about 10 records for him, um, because similar to my buddy Fred, this friend of mine from college in the mid-1990s has turned me on to probably more music than anyone else. He turned me on to Bill Callahan, he turned me on to Songs Ohio, um, a lot of Drag City stuff, uh, but the one that he initially turned me on to, which sort of led me into everyone else, is Bonnie Prince Billy, otherwise known as Will Oldham, or Palace, or Palace Songs, or Palace Music. Uh, this is the record that I first loved, Ease Down the Road, uh, on Will Oldham's own Palace Records, came out in 2001. I went on to buy everything that Will Oldham has released after this, and anybody who follows Will Oldham knows that that's a lot of music. He releases a lot of records. Uh, his most recent, I Made a Place, is a great record. Uh, but my buddy Brian, uh, probably Will Oldham and uh, Bill Callahan slash Smog are the, are the favorites of, of everything that he turned me on to. I, I, some of the best shows I've ever seen in my life I saw with him. Um, I saw uh, Sunvolt, the bottom line show that they released on vinyl, 1996. He and I drove from Boston to New York, saw the show, and then drove back. Uh, that was a wild night, um, but we've seen we've seen Wilco together. We've seen I think we saw Steve Earle together. We sixteen horsepower, um, a lot, a lot of. He was my my music buddy in college. Uh, so that's it. I'll, I'll probably do another one of these. I think these are these are fun. A lot of these records came from friends, um, but as I have been finally coming through on my promise to. Uh, highlight a record that uh, I wish more people knew about. This one was easy when I glanced in a certain area and just spotted this. This is the very best of Slobberbone. Um, this is Brent Best's uh, band, uh, or he was a member of the band, he's a lead singer and songwriter. Uh, 
here are some great gatefold. Uh, when I talk, when I get into uh, some of the best shows I've ever seen, I talk about these guys quite a bit. Um, they're sort of, I would, the replacements meet Uncle Tupelo, maybe. Best thing I can come up with. Um, every, this is a, again, a best of uh, that came out on New West uh, in 2016. Will Johnson from Centromatic did the, the cover, uh, cover artwork. Every song on this is great. And there are, let me see, four, nine, 13, 18 songs. Everyone's great. One of the best bands of uh, the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, just a tremendous, tremendous act. Slobberbone, the very best of, or the best of. Uh, it's called Bs and Cs. Um, and if you are looking for uh, one album, I would go with uh, everything you thought was right was wrong today. Um, a perfect record. Slobberbone, uh, the best of. And that wraps it. Um, that's it for today. Again, I hope you're all uh, with family, friends, staying healthy, um, hanging out with your pets like I'm doing. Um, and uh, I look forward to better times and uh, feel free to uh, leave any comments or, or what have you about how you're doing and what records you're listening to and hopefully we can keep this conversation going. Thank you. See ya.